Welcome to this episode of Brews with the Brunettes. My name is Ryan. I'll be Jake. And it's the Brew Table. Woo! Well, today on this episode of Brews, Brunettes, we're trying Einstock's Icelandic Toasted Porter. How exotic sounding. <laughs> it sounds just about exotic as a giraffe with wings. And that's pretty exotic. <laughs> <laughs> It's six percent alcohol, so it's a little bit, a little above average in alcohol content. But uh, the important part is it's from Akurai, 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 Iceland. That's gonna be very dark. You can tell you can't even see through it. No. Mm. No, that's it's like, like black water. Oh, oh. Looks like DVDDW. Right, the DVDDW. It smells like it's just like a kind of like a standard porter, to be honest. It, I always get like that coffee, yeah. a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cocoa smell. It's like it's like it's like standard guys. I mean, I like them. Doesn't very smell. caramely. Yeah. Very caramely. But that's like the standard layout of any porter. It's like pretty standard. Yeah, so. I don't think you've smelled anything ever too crazy. Cheers, man. Cheers. Dude, that was silky. A little sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Definitely caramely, not as but not as coffee as much as I was gonna get out of that smell there. But it's definitely um, caramely. It doesn't doesn't bang the caramel. But it's not as dark as a lot of porters we've had too. It um, it doesn't have that strong coffee flavor. It's kind of like a lighter. There coffee. is a coffee flavor there, but it is balanced pretty well with some sweetness, the caramel exactly like you said. It's good though. Not something you want to drink when it's like 180 degrees outside, like it is every day here in Florida. But um, it's definitely a good beer. Well, yeah, if you're in Iceland, I bet. Yeah, this oh. is kind of silky and... Oh, Hindabinga Durgen. Hard to burst his tongue in. Hindabinga Durgen. Einstock, yeah. Einstock, yeah. That's all it is. Delicious. And not too incredibly standout-ish, though. It's, like, very bland. You kind of get that smoky flavor out of the tea like you do a lot of porters, too. So I guess I can understand the toasted... Well, but I, that was is that what they're going like Toasted caramel or something toasted. like that. Jake, what do you think? A little more carbonated than I thought it was going to be, a little bit sweeter than I thought it was going to be, a little less bitter than I thought it was going to be. Uh, perfectly smooth, though. I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5. Not bad, not too good. It's nothing you'd really go out of your way to find, but if you can find it, it is a cool bottle cap. I agree. It's a little more carbonated than a lot of porters we've had. That's another point that we didn't, we didn't actually bring out yet. Well, before Jake said something about it. Uh, but yeah, usually porters are very light to no carbonation, very carbonated. Um, but yeah, it's good, but it's nothing stand out of sheet. I'm going to give it a 3 as well. It's like a little more carbonated than a uh, Guinness, almost. It reminds yeah. me of Guinness. It's a yeah. little more carbonated than a Guinness. A lot sweeter, though. A lot, a lot sweeter. sweeter. Very what sweet. are they doing here? I don't know. It's like they put a handful of sugar nuts in there. It's like those Icelandics have a uh, sweet tooth. Sweet tooth Icelandic people. We know what you did, Iceland. <laughs> Hinger dinger, Iceland. We know what you did, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drop the elbow on Iceland. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> well, thank you for watching this episode of Brews with the Brew Nights. My name is Ryan. I've been Jake. With the Nights of the Brew Table. <laughs> You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, guys.